Hello everybody, it's Irish Gamer Kane here, and today we'll be talking about Dead Space 2. Or more specifically, the multiplayer map, Escape. I'm gonna give you some tips on how to best survive in this map, get to the, all the computers, and just pretty much a walkthrough. So let's get started. Now at the beginning of this map, the first set of computers is to the right of the main spawn point. Once you go down that first hall, you can either turn left at the first hallway or keep going straight. Either way, it brings you to the same point where the computers are, so it doesn't really matter. Now, an important strategy for this map is that you want to stick together. There are so many Necromorph spawn points in such a short distance apart from each other that there is always going to be Necromorph spawning around you, especially around the computers. So you need your teammates around you to protect you while you access those computers. If not, you're going to be all by yourself and you can't do anything when you're accessing a computer. You can't, you can move a little bit, but that's it. You can't shoot, you can't do anything else. So you're pretty much defenseless. So if you're there all by yourself and Necromorph said show up, you're on your own. And every time you get interrupted, you have to start all over again. And it's a little bit of a wait. Now this time we were lucky and I got there and it was clear. They must have been busy at off attacking the rest of the people and not paying attention to the computers. But if they are, if you're playing with people of skill and they know about these spots where to protect, like this person did, then you could have a fight on your hands, especially if there's four necromorphs running around along with the bots. So stick together, and then you can make a triangle around each computer: the person accessing it, one person off to each side, and one protecting your back. You have a better chance of completing each point and getting to the next. Now on this second set of computers, there's one on the lower level, one on the upper level. I just ran past the lower level one, the two other guys headed for that one. I suggest you do the same thing. Head for the higher one first. Because once you get the first one and all the necromorphs realize what's going on, the second one is very, very hard to get to. Now, I had died after completing the second set of computers. And if you die after completing the second set of computers, you spawn in a room closer to the third and final set of computers. So this is a picture of after completing the first set of computers. Here we had turned left to go to where the second set is. If you turn right instead, it takes you down to where the room is that you spawn in if you die after completing the second set. And if you turn left, it heads up to where the third set is. So here's me starting from that spawn point. Now this last set of computers, you gotta go up a set of stairs and then there's one off to the left and one off to the right. Now this one is one of the harder ones that usually is finished because there are spawn points everywhere. On the floor, coming up the stairs, off to the side, uh, up in the vents above where the computers are. So Nakamura's will be coming from everywhere and it's hard to complete the tasks unless you have people there guarding you. So once again, this is where the strategy I mentioned earlier comes in handy. Because if you have a set of three guys standing around you, uh, usually there's not much you can do to stop the humans from completing their tasks. Now once you complete the two computers, you have one last computer that's in the center of the room to access in order to activate the escape pods. And once you uh, complete this, you, it's pretty much a mad dash to get the escape pods first and pretty much the way you get to them is heading back the way you came the escape pods are in the main room that you ran through when you first came up this way all you need to do is run up to an escape pod with the door still open and you come out now it's up to your buddies the rest of your teammates to come back and get into the escape pods as well you get to watch them too but it's kind of funny now they don't all have to make it for you to succeed um, I guess this is just for bonus points in a way. As long as one of you makes it to the escape pods, you the humans technically win. So as you're about to see, even though three people made it and this guy didn't, it doesn't matter. We still end up winning. As long as one of us makes it, it's a win. Alright, that about does it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I look forward to making more videos for you. Look for more of my Necromorph tips and map strategies on Battlestrats.com or Blip TV or YouTube. Just look up Irish Gamer Kane. Man, I can't believe those help desk guys sent me down here to fix a fax machine. I mean, I've been with the company for four years. This is kind of beneath me. And look at all this blood everywhere. This can't be healthy.
I'm just gonna get this over with and get out of here. What? What is this? It's just jammed. You just had to remove the paper and restart it. Oh, dead body parts. That's not good. I, I, I'm gonna get out of here. Oh, demonic children. Oh, I gotta get out of here. Oh, that's not good. Oh, it's on me. Oh, get it off. Get it off. Get off me before I knock your block off. I swear to God, I will punch your face in if you don't get off me right now. Get off. Oh, man. I told you. I warned you. Dave, help me over here, Mr. Third Nipple. Oh, okay. I guess that was kind of a low blow, but you know what? Anyways, I'm out of here. You guys suck.